There's one. There's a stick. Uh, triple tail. <laughs> now that is what triple tail tacos look like, cuz. <laughs> look at that one. Absolutely gorgeous. You better do something. No, you better do something. <laughs> you better go get the nets. How about that? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. In, in about 10, 12 inches of water. Yeah. I'm Ray Van Horn, and this is the captain's journey. Jump in the boat. Let's see what kind of fun we can have. Good, good night. What a bike, dude! You can't get excited about this. Okay, we're in that uh, back in line now. Holy moly! <laughs> Welcome to Venice, Louisiana. <laughs> that's why. That's why you live in Everglades. That's an awesome fish. You got a good one, bro. Permit dancing. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. That's a big one right there. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is presented by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Get on board with Ray Van Horn. It's the Captain's Journey. Well, it's March, down at my house, down in the Everglades, and uh, we've got my good friend, Captain Jason Ketchins from Louisiana with me. And, uh, you know, we've done a lot of shows oh, together. Wow. We have really got great conditions <laughs> for triple tail. Inches, now, a lot of people at home are probably saying, man, you guys are in a little aluminum boat. You're not going offshore in that. No, we're not. We're gonna see if we can't target these fish. So, uh, pretty good low tide, and uh, believe it or not, we're gonna see if we can't catch them in water about that deep on little swim baits. Just sight fishing them. Sight fishing them. They'll be, depending on the tide, they could be static, just sitting there. If the tide's moving out or in, they could be floating in, and that's really a cool deal. Look like a big balloon in the water. So we've never done that, and no, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Be like old tournament day fishing. Sight fishing, aluminum boat with the Mercury jet, and uh, now it's March, so you know we got to have got to have a tarpon rod ready. One hundred percent. Because I mean they'll be in water sometimes this deep too, so always have that one laid out, hooked up, ready to go, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy this. This is something a little different. Shallow sight fishing for triple tail. You ready for some of that, Coach? I am. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the extreme low winter tides are the best for this because they stay low longer. That wind's out of the east all day. I can see the bottom now. Can you? Yeah. Right ahead, There's a big old mud puff right there, boy. Right in front of us, right to the left of where I passed. Oh, Ooh, redfish, wasn't it? Yeah, a little baby one. Got him in, though. <laughs> Scooter. I just can't get away from these redfish, you know? They leave Louisiana, come down here and bring any triple tail fishing and you catch a redfish. Oh, what's wrong with you, Jason? Boy, I'd take two of these in Florida any day of the week. <laughs> I thought you said he was a little one. There's people around here put put that guy in grease. Come here. Look how pale he is. 
back in the pool. Look at the muds right here. Solid muds here. Every now and then there'll be four or five real big ones all clumped together and it'll look like there's five black drums sitting there. You want to throw at that. Something dark over here. There's one. There's a stick. Uh, triple tail. Not a keeper, but triple tail. See, it looked like a little jellyfish. Yeah. And if he'll put the fin up. Yep. You so right, right here, there's an iridescent line. And when they're sitting in the, when they're sitting there like that, see how that's iridescent right yep. there? You got a little pink to it, a little iridescent. That's not a keeper, that's about a 15 inch. Or last year he'd have been a keeper, but I'm glad they made it 18. You know, Jason, everybody they focuses on that easy triple tail fishing where they're chasing crab balls. And, and of course, we've done some of that too, but I catch way more keepers in, in shallow than I do. And that's not a keeper. He, he'll be a keeper here in about five, six months. That's the deal right there. That's money. That's a three inch cal shad in glow with gold flake on an eighth ounce head. Back in the pool, Maynard. I'll come back and get you. He said, I just had an out-of-body experience. You get it anywhere in there, buddy. Boom. Yeah, he was aggressive. And he come after it. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is brought to you by Ranger Boats. Still building legends, one at a time. And by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. The bad thing about making a long cast is, you know, you'll see one and then you're out there five miles. I feel, I got the heebie-jeebies. I feel like there's gonna be one big, big right here. No way, he's, he's the only one in here. Got him? Yep. Oh, he came out. Gotta let him eat it. Gotta let him eat it. He did, dude. I'm so we gotta let him eat it more than that. Got him. Big one. Gotta get the net. Lift him. <laughs> now that is what triple tail tacos look like, cuz. <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> Check that one out, buddy. That's a good one. How about that? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. In, in about 10, 12 inches of water. Yeah. I mean, just saw him flash, I cast to him, he nipped it, and I cast back in there, and he ate it again. They're very aggressive. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's tacos there, buddy. Yeah. 21, 21 inch. Let me, let me get the camera out and we can take a couple of still pictures. All right. There you go. In the cooler? Uh-huh. There's one. Little one. You got him? Oh! He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Yeah. I never felt that come off. He was bigger than I thought he was. Yeah. He was facing the other way. He was facing in, and you know, I put it on his tail, and he did a 180 like a Louisiana redfish. In the old days. We're in about dead low right now. Two dark spots there. 
some of this might be black cone. You see a dark shape in that mud. Shoot him. See, we're only in about nine inches of water right here. Nothing over there on those grass fields out there, or not usually? Uh, they're just, they're wherever you find them. They get a little spookier when the tide stops and gets static. They like that water moving. What's that black deal out there? Is that one floating out there or is that just trash? Right here, it might be a triple tail. Triple tail. Is it? Yeah. You got him? Oh, you hit him. Oh, God. See him? He's turning. Which way he's facing right? He's facing that way. Up the wrong side of it now. No, it didn't. He turned. Oh, did he? Yeah. Got him. Get him, boy. Oh, you better get back here. You better do something. Come on, come on. You better net him. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to get it. Take your time. It's a 30 minute show. <laughs> <laughs> you got that Louisiana, I'm going to put him in the boat mentality. <laughs> You better do something. No, you better do something. You better go get the nets. Someone's got to do something. How cool is that? It was good. That one was up and floating. That was really cool. It's so fun. If you can't get excited about sight fishing, these big triple tail, we're out here in the middle of a flat fishing them. And how deep is it? Maybe a foot, foot and a half. See, everybody's so focused on deep water triple tail on structure, primarily buoys, that they, they just don't understand that these fish come to the hill. About a 20 incher. Yep. That's awesome. Isn't that beautiful? And they course, are I got so, they're so aggressive. And now the only one we haven't caught is a mustard colored one. You know, I don't see a lot of the mustard ones in here. What do you think that is? I don't know what it, what it is. You think it's the water color? You I think, think I think offshore there's so much of that green water that they... Flip him up. You got him. Look at that. Absolutely gotta be careful. gorgeous. He's got, a, he's got a spike down there. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And see, they got a lateral line right there. See yep. how, how, how subtle it is? It is. I bet a lot of people don't realize they have a lateral line. Yeah, it's, you can go ahead and point to it. You can see this lateral line right here. You can feel any vibration, any yep. movement in the water. I've been in here when the mullets were so thick, it was just chalk. And, and that's when they're, you know, focused on right. that. Okay, you got him? I got him. Let me get a photo of you with, uh, where's your camera? It's in my backpack. You can't catch them with a baitcaster. I know. You know what? Let's turn that one loose. 100%. Turn him loose. We got plenty for dinner. Even though that would be okay. There he goes. There he goes. Look at him. And I'll tell you what, they pull, buddy. They pull. Jump. I like to catch a 20 pounder. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is presented by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Hey, hey, is that one right there floating? Yep. Or is that moss? I don't know. Let's go over and get a closer angle. What do you think? Shoot it. It's disappearing. I think it's grass. Nope. Got him. Got him. Whoa! That grass jumps. <laughs> the black one. 
<laughs> you better do something. You see, <laughs> I was wondering when you gonna go get the net. Not as big oh, as that check, one of yours. Check his head out, dude. Check his head out. Check it out. Look, look at that, the coloring in it. Look, look at this. Look at the color right there. Oh, uh, blue and purple. And yeah, it's all iridescent. Grab the gripper. Put it in his lower lip. Thank you. I'll tell you what, that, that glow with gold flake cow shad is just, catches everything, buddy. Jason, I know the folks at home are probably gonna wonder what kind of gear we're using. A lot of people say, well, they're using bait casting gear and, and it's very similar to, to bass gear in a lot of regards. Uh, my choice was a uh, 13 fishing concept TXZ. I like a left hand crank and it's got a star drag on it, very, very smooth. And it's on a 13 fishing omen rod and I like a shorter rod, I'm more accurate with a close up. So this is a six foot eight and it's a medium heavy blank and uh, it allows to make accurate pitches out there using 50 pound braid, 50 pound leader. Only got about two foot a leader. Throw it past him, swim it up to him. They usually open their mouth and eat it. This thing right here is amazing. Isn't that amazing? That little, that little cow shad, DOA cow shad, in a glow with gold flake is just awesome. I've caught every fish here on this lure. I've caught a snook, a redfish, tarpon. a trout, a tarpon. Baby tarpon. And some... Triple tail. Triple tail. And, and you know what? These jig heads are very amazing. Well, that's a DOA premium jig. Got a super wide bite. Okay. It does. And I mean, it's you very get your sturdy. your entire finger in there. And you can't move it. And I was using an eighth. I think you're using what? A I'm quarter? a quarter. You're using a quarter. So accuracy is the main thing. Uh, it's hard to beat a bait cast and reel for accuracy, in my opinion. You know, most of the guys in Florida, most of the anglers in Florida use spinning equipment, not 90%. And you can get good distance. Uh, and I guess if you use them every day, and I use them quite a bit too. But I guess this goes back to my bass fishing days that making pinpoint cast with a bait caster stuff. And I think that's where a lot of people get confused is they think they have to have separate gear for bass fishing and light tackle. A lot of crossover. Line. Lots of crossover. That's your tackle tip for the day. Shallow water triple tail fishing with Captain Jason Kitchens. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, we'll put this one back in the drink, even though he's right there at 18. How much fun is that, dude? It's so much fun, man. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten inches of water. And when they come in with the tide or go out with the tide, they're fairly, fairly easy to get. Ray Van Horn's Captain's Journey is brought to you by Power Pole, Shallow Water Anchor, DOA, The Unfair Advantage, Usually, when the tide's moving, mm -hmm. they're moving, so they're easier to see. You know, when, when it's slack, they lay up. So now, on our way out, we're going to fish the way out to see yep. if they're funneling through? Yep. It's a good one. White one. There he comes. Get him. He turned on it. Got him! <laughs> oh, he came off. Did he really? Yep. Oh. Dude, the bait was gone in his mouth. Hey, they got a hard head. They got a really hard head. There's a head. bad angle, too, to try to set the hook yeah. here. 
Jason, that fish right there, man, that was, it, it winds up being bad geometry when they follow it to the boat like that and then eat it head on. Coming right at you, any fish, whether it's a redfish, a tarpon, triple tail, any fish that's swimming right at you and eats, they move so much water, it is hard to get a hook in them. And yeah. triple tail especially, because they're very, their mouths are very hard. Yeah, they're like a concrete block. And you know what, I'll tell you what, we've had, I don't know, eight or nine targets, put about five, six of them in a boat, taking one home for tacos, not so bad. That was a great day. I appreciate you being part of it. Thank you, sir. You bet. I want to thank Kenny Brown at Outdoor Resorts here in Chukaluski. He's my man, provides great accommodations. He's got a wonderful marina. He's got a great, great store and outfitting shop. 